there and welcome back to Mad Titan Training. If you're new here, which is probably most of you, like the video, subscribe to the damn channel. Um, because, you know, we're just kind of starting off with nothing here, you know? Uh, we're just trying to give, give, some, give some advice. And today's advice has absolutely nothing to do with training whatsoever. But I'm going to do this. We're going to start here and we're going to bring it over here. We're going to bring it full circle. See? Full circle. Back to training. But, you know, for whatever reason, all these other trainers out there, they always think that they're uh, a, a, um, an authority on this. So I say, why not me? I guess I am too because I'll do this too. So what we're talking about today is uh, how to attract a, let's just say mate. For most of you, it's a man trying to attract a woman, and that's okay. Or it could be a woman trying to attract a man, that's okay. That, that's a lot easier. Most of the time, most of the time it's, I exist. Uh, but there's also, uh, there's also the other combinations. So let's just say attracting a mate, how to attract, how to attract another human being. Let's go with that. So there are four rules for guidelines that I have decided are the only four guidelines you're ever going to need to attract another person. So let's get into them, and you're going to learn that I am quite fluent in Spanish, at least when it comes to counting to four. So numero uno, number one, stop comparing yourself to other people. So uh, unless you're Chris Hemsworth, which if you are, Chris, please share the video because that would be really good for me. Chris Hemsworth, unless you're Chris Hemsworth and you're a man, you're probably not as sexy as Chris Hemsworth, and it's just the way it is. Um, you're probably, probably, probably not. I know I'm not. I know most of you aren't. I know that I don't think anybody I know is. And that's all right. You're you. That's good enough. You don't need to be like Chris Hemsworth. You want to know why Chris Hemsworth looks like Chris Hemsworth looks? Because his mom and his dad were pretty people and they got together and they had like this perfect genetic. Uh, I'll tell you what they did. That's for a different video. Mm. Uh, but they got together and they had him and, and he came out this specimen that he is. And you want to know why Ronnie Coleman is just huge? Yes, I know. He did all these, these drugs. He did this. And, yeah, probably, you know, uh, you do all the same things he did. You're not going to be as big as him. Arnold Schwarzenegger, too. You know, he, you're not going to look like him. No matter how many drugs you do, no matter, no matter how hard you lift, you're probably just never going to look like him. And that's okay. That's because, genetically speaking, some people are just born to be who they are. Uh, I'm born to be who I am, and you, you are born to be who you are, and that's fine. That is good enough. Think about the person in the world you're most attracted to, uh, your crush, your significant other, and think, oh, wow, uh, does, that person, does that person compare to, to Chris Hemsworth? I don't want the answer from my wife. If she's watching, she better be. You better share this woman. She's probably like, no, he's not even in Chris Hemsworth's league. And that's all right. Because I like him anyways. Most of you, I would hope, feel the same way about the uh, significant other that you have. So stop comparing yourself. Number two, numero dos, you see, look at that fluency. Uh, stop pretending. And stop pretending to be somebody that you're not. Um, this is something, this, go, this is a rabbit hole that we're not going to dive down real, real deep. But listen. You are not somebody else. You're not like me. Thank God. You're not like the celebrity that you love the most in the whole wide world. You're not. You're not like a certain former president that a lot of you are, or a certain president, soon to be former president, whatever, that a lot of you love and adore. You're not like that person, and that's okay. You don't have to be like that person. Stop pretending that you are. You are whoever you are. And again, the rabbit hole goes deeper than that. Stop pretending that you like things you don't like because you want to attract somebody. Stop pretending that you, that you believe in certain things that you don't believe in. Oh my God, how many times do I see that? And again, rabbit hole, but let's just, just, just go down the hole a little bit here. I know multiple people who have said that they are extremely religious because their significant other was, and they thought that they had to be because of that. That's real. That's really weird. Just so you know, it's a really weird thing to do. But and, you know, when them when they broke up, they were like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I didn't really think that at all." Um, don't pretend to be somebody you're not. Don't pretend to do stuff you don't want to do. Don't pretend. Just, just don't be somebody that you're not. Um, number three, numero tres. See that? 
you probably think I'm straight out of Mexico, especially with this blonde hair, blue eye, pale skin. <clears throat> Stop thinking that everybody has the same taste. Not everybody has the same taste. You like who you like, other people like who they like. If you look at yourself and you think, oh my God, if I was a person of the opposite sex or same sex or whatever and I was looking for somebody, I wouldn't be attracted to me. And that's okay, because somebody will be. In a lot of instances, and I see this a lot, it's, it's like, it's like they, they, oh my God, like I'm just an ugly person. Blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe to somebody. Everybody's ugly to somebody. A lot, I, I couldn't tell you, a lot of people are like, you know, uh, Charlize Theron. Oh yeah, I've never really found her attractive. I don't know what the, the thing is, Beyonce. I don't think Beyonce is all that attractive. Have you seen that woman? Uh, oh, Chris Hemsworth, he's just like a normal looking dude, right? Come on. So everybody's got a different thing. You, you are attractive to somebody, I'm sure. And number four, and this is num number four, is most important because this is the big one. Numero cuatro, number four, is stop giving a shit. And this is probably the most important. So I'm going to start off with an example. Remember, I said I was going to bring this back, down, back around to training, right? I train, I have trained many, many people. And some of you are going to feel personally attacked by this right now. And that's okay because, yes, I am attacking you. I am, I am calling you out. Many, 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 many of you, I will train, and, and it, it's, mm, I'm just going to say, it, it's mostly guys. Uh, you're like, I want to get, I want to get big, I want to get jacked, I want to get lean, I want to lose weight, I want to do, I want to get strong, whatever. And I train them for a certain amount of time, and then they just stop coming. And why did they stop coming? Because they got a girlfriend. Because they suddenly decided, I want to care about my health. I care about how thin I am. I care about how strong I am. I care about my muscle structure. I suddenly care about all this stuff. And then I got a girlfriend and I don't anymore. And that's because you never really cared. You only wanted to attract somebody. And so you didn't do that shit for yourself. You didn't, you never, you never did anything for you. You didn't do anything for you. You did it for somebody else. And that's just silly. And that really kind of wraps back up to, you know, stop comparing yourself. Stop pretending to be somebody you're not. Stop. Oh, I love this. I love lifting. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you like me now? I don't really need to lift anymore. I got a girlfriend. Now I'm good. I'm out. That happens a lot. And if you're watching this and you're one of those people, yeah. Don't think I didn't notice. I always noticed. I always noticed when you just, oh, yeah, like, I've been coming for like three weeks and now I'm out because I met this girl and I don't really want to, I, don't, I mean, I got a girl, so I don't need to lift anymore, right? Yeah, well, you know, when you're 40 and have a heart attack because you decided that you didn't care anymore about your health, yeah, you're probably going to care then. So <clears throat> stop giving a shit about what other people think at all. Stop living your life thinking, oh, all that matters is that I get somebody to love me. All that matters is that I have a significant other. How many people just share like a thousand memes about how you should treat somebody or how somebody should treat you because you're the gift, God's gift to all other people. and You're perfect and bleh, 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 bleh. all of it is nonsense. Nobody seems to give a shit about themselves. All you care about is, oh, as long as somebody else cares about me, why should I care about myself? I'll tell you why, because when you're... 45, 50, 60, and you're dying because you, you, you're obese or because your heart health is all out of whack or because your liver is failing you because you've got lung cancer from smoking, all this stuff, you're going to think, wow, I should have probably taken my health more seriously for me and not just for somebody else. I really should have thought about that. <clears throat> you know, right, right. It's not about the aesthetics of it. It's not about looking jacked. It's not about looking beautiful to anybody else. It's about, wow, I want to live like a longer, healthier, more comfortable life. And I just think <clears throat> so many of you are so obsessed with the dating world and this and that, and I need to find somebody for marriage and I just, just stop worrying so much about it. Worry about your damn self. And it, you know, these rules are all tied together. You know, when it comes, it, you're, you're not a perfect person. The person that you have a crush on, the perfect person that you love, the person that you are dating or you're married to probably isn't perfect. Well, <clears throat> to my wife, if you're watching this, you are the one exception to that, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to leave a comment. No. Um, but for, for most of you, the person that you're most attracted to is imperfect. You're imperfect. And the person who is most attracted to you probably knows that you are imperfect, but you're perfect to them. And that means you need to learn how to be perfect to your damn self. So, yes, it is important not to be obese, not to be huge, not to have an unhealthy heart, not to have unhealthy lungs, not to have atrophy so you're weak, 
So you can't you walk up a flight of steps without passing out. It is important. It is important. But it's not important for the sake of somebody else. It's important for you, for you, for your quality of life. So you guys were like, oh, is he going to bring this back around to training or what? You're goddamn right I did. Because training actually has nothing to do with your dating life. How many women out there, by a show of comments, and see, that's how you get interaction. By a show of comments, how many ladies out there like a man with a dad bod? How many men like women who are thick with two or three or five C's, right? How many women like bigger men or men like bigger women? It's not about your weight. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different thing. Whatever you look like right now, somebody's attracted to it out there. Learn how to be, to take yourself and to be the best version of that, the only you that you're going to be, with your genetics, the best of your genetics, the best of your beliefs, the best of everything that you are, and separate that from this is what everybody else wants me to be. You be here, they be here. And just be that. Be better than you are now, and the rest will just happen. Yeah, that's right. Life advice, right? This is the way I have spoken.